OK guys, uh, welcome to part two of this review and I'm going to have to say to you now, hold the phone because unfortunately we will not be able to finish this review properly as I'd like at the moment and the reason for that is I have found out today it, um, after talking to the retailer a lot that as I suspected this is not a brand new unit this was a unit that was returned by another customer as faulty it then went to be fixed and it came back to the warehouse and was accidentally shipped to me as a new unit now this next part of the video shows me connecting it up powering it up, installing the drives and everything and I talk about the fan noise a lot and I show the fan noise on the camera Okay, but the point is I can't get another one of these for about three to four weeks because there are none in the UK at the moment. But when the new unit arrives, it may be that the fans are not as noisy as these fans. Okay, So please bear in mind that comments that I make and what you're going to hear in this episode, the noise this fan at the back of here is making, they may not be this loud. Okay, if Please leave a comment if you own one of these or you've used them and you know how loud they are. Okay, um, Otherwise, it's, it's fine, apart from that this bottom LED on this drive sledge is running at about 20% brightness, it's very dull uh, but otherwise it seems very fast in the speed test and everything um, so I don't want to leave it and not put up the next videos uh, because I can show you the uh, accessing the controls and all the parameters that you can change and stuff and, and just a quick walk through of that and I can show you some speed tests reading and writing various files compared to the other discs connected to the Mac uh, I can show you all that, I and mean, it doesn't matter the fact this isn't a brand new unit, but just please bear in mind that this is this is all about how loud it is, okay? If when the new unit arrives it is still as loud as this one, then I'm going to have to think about getting a replacement fan for it, because even living down on the floor, um, I'd want it to be quieter than that. And I would say to GTEC, they sh if, it, if they are really this noisy, they should consider fitting a much quieter fan, even if it means putting the price up by 10 or $20, you know? The other thing is, I got a 2 meter cable with it, as I told you in the first episode. Apparently, according to GTEC's website, the package contains a 1 meter uh, eSATA cable. Okay. So, yeah, on with the show. Now I'm going to show you the install and everything, but please bear in mind that um, we're going to have to reserve judgment about whether or not they are really this noisy until we get the new one, which will be in three to four weeks' time. As soon as that unit arrives, I'll add an addendum video showing the new unit and whether or not it's quieter. Okay. And if it isn't any quieter than this one, then after another week or two you'll see me showing you me fitting a th an aftermarket fan to it to make it quieter, because I want it quieter than that, if that's how noisy they are, you know. Alright, well, um, so let's get on with it. This is the connecting up, powering up, installing and all that. After which I'll show you a walkthrough of the, uh, the control interface, and then show you some speed tests. Alright, All right, ciao. Okay, and there is the high point uh, rocket raid card, the controller card installed in the top slot of the Mac Pro. There are the four eSATA ports on the back ready to go. Okay, now let's fire her up, and all I should have to do is attach the power lead to the rack, connect the eSATA cable, and then switch on the rack, and I should have it there and ready on the Mac. It's a little bit more long-winded on Windows but uh, the next thing to do according to the manual is to connect the controller to the unit. I'll just move my coffee out of the way there. Don't want that going everywhere. So plug into port one. What's going on? I'll turn this. That's it. Okay. Uh, move that baggy. Move all these little screw uh, key things as well. Okay. So there's our bare unit, and we connect the, the SATA connection. Bing bang bong. Now, attach the power cord. Da -da. Power cord. the switch is off which it is plug in the power and find a socket for it here we go there we are now let's turn that back around that way that 
Um, power on the G speed. Right, here we go. This is better work. <laughs> Ooh, lights are on. some cool air and trying to get us back to a more normal working temperature. There will be some noise on the camera though from builders and whatever else. But quiet? Oh, I don't know about that. Look, I'll turn it around. Of course it doesn't have to live on your desktop right where you work. I mean if it's underneath somewhere you probably won't notice it that much but this is what it sounds like. And most of that noise is coming from the, uh, from the cooling fan. Right the power supply down there. Anyway, it's whispery, you know, it's not super quiet, and certainly not quiet. There's no way I'd describe it as that. And just to show you, that's the pop up for the driver install. I'm running Leopard on this. Continue, this will take 3 meg of space, install. Password. Continue. And uh, off we go. What's that? Yeah. It's making a hell of a racket that disc, I tell you. Got to restart now. And it says uh, cache is necessary for booting are being updated. System shutdown will proceed once the caches are up to date. That's what that little message says there. But listen to that bugger go now. I actually call that noisy. Listen to it. To me, it's pretty noisy, but let's put it down on the floor. Mm. Well, anyway, uh, I'll just reboot. See you in a minute. And we've rebooted, and there is the G Speed on the desktop. Uh, lovely jubbly. There she is, G Speed. And uh, let's get its properties there. There we are. One point eight two terabytes. Um, there she is. Okay, so we're off now. There are some other facilities on this disk, so let me shut down again, and then we'll do this speed tester. See you in a minute. 